Welcome back to Injustice. Oh, we're not in... It, ju it just hit me at the end of that last part, after we cut, that even that plot was a real estate sta scam. <laughs> just what the fuck? Something tells me we're not in D Earth Zero anymore. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with this scene? This is somehow your fault. <laughs> You're the one who wanted to blow is. up the city, jackass. Ah, hit the counter button just at the right moment. <laughs> you need the little spider sense. <laughs> Who's voicing Joker in this? I think it's still Richard Epcar. Uh, I can look it up. One second. Well, what else did he voice? He, uh, he's Bato and Ghost in the Shell. If it's, if it's Richard Epcar. You know, it's a good thing that the, uh, Doomsday in the other universe is actually the real Doomsday. <laughs> That doesn't because mean there's not a doomsday in this universe. Them off in space. What's your um what's your overall opinion on Batman, Ryan? In this game, not not as a playable character. Yeah. He's fun to play as he has enough gadgets to mix things up, but he's a good enough hand to hand fighter to still be fun to just do close encounters with. He's he's nope. a good he's a good quote unquote Ryu of the game. Kind of jack of all trades, master of none. The Batman of the Batman. Man. Cripes. Don't yeah, worry, Batman's fine. totally that strong. <laughs> yeah, he's totally fine, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the morning routine for Joker. <laughs> oh, and he just jumped there in no time at all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I found that less plausible than the whole. Uh, movie. wait until you see this. Thing. Totally Does that fine. Move damage the Joker. <laughs> No. Now, that's now, a now, let me, now let me get this straight. Barbara was paralyzed from the waist down from just a bullet to the spine? I bet. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell the bad future because the sky is all like cloudy and shit. You know, just because you're in an apocalypse doesn't mean that. Where the hell did he get the Batmobile in this? It came up a building. Yeah. You can drive up walls. <laughs> No, but he didn't have one in this universe. It's not his. <laughs> oh man, what a day for Joker! <laughs> he's essentially just a really crazy, ordinary human being, and yet he's still living after yeah, all of this. And they haven't even done the plot. To, they haven't even thrown in their plot device to explain why everyone can do this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think no. I think that. The and keep quiet. That's dummies, but they've been given sentence by. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, and finally, for all this destruction that happens in the background, finally someone's going to jail for all of that. <laughs> Consider what Batman just did to the Joker. <laughs> now that's funny. My fucking face. You know, just once could you go into the authorities and, like, listen to what they have to say? Just once. Wait, well, he knows Batman, something. Did Batman have a failsafe just in case the police finally decided to arrest him for vigilantism? <laughs> I have a plan for everything. He has plans for his plans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, plans man. for his plans for his plans. <laughs> okay, what's his plan for his plan for his plan when he doesn't have the right color of uh, post-it notes Another available plan. for the planning stage? Of his plan for his plan for his plans. The note spray. <laughs> Post it notes. <laughs> as much as I like some of the voice acting in this game, this is one of Kevin Conroy's more weak performances as Batman, I think. Sort of. Well, no. I feel if, if I can just critique the voice acting in general for this one, it just, oh. it, a bit of a, a, a chunk of it sounds pretty phoned in. Kevin Conroy. Oh. You know something? I get the feeling that they didn't put much effort into the direction for this game. Because well, they got, they got like, most of the Justice League voices back. I think, well, I don't think the story has ever given a whole lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Priority. I'm, I'm saying you can get really good actors, but they're still going to suck someone if they don't have good direction. True. It's worth investigating. Let's you and I check things out here. 
Uh, do you play as the... Uh, I don't want to say the good versions. Do you play as the normal universe versions of these characters for the story? Yes. Okay. Well, you you play as alternate Batman once, but that's it. Oh, so Batman gets two chapters. Ooh. Well, because Batman's the first character you play as, I guess I want to difficult these up. I get the feeling alternate Batman uh, is one of the better heroes in this. He's the only good guy left. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody oh. else turned evil? Yeah. Well, everyone else gave in to Superman's regime. Yeah. Cyborg. Hi, Hal. Your origin movie still sucked. <laughs> okay, let's be fair. He's just not the only uh, movie that's DC superhero origin movie that sucked recently. <laughs> Man of Steel. <coughs> I liked Man of Steel. Man of Steel is awful. I wouldn't say awful. Flawed. Yeah, yeah. It, it, flawed. It, it, no, it's it, it was pretty damn bad. I would yeah. say flawed, but not awful. Yes. <laughs> Why is Raven purple? Because she's possessed by Trigon. Why does Raven have such a butterface? Yeah. Okay, so how many times this week has that happened? Uh, they have. They they're having their weekly meeting next Friday. I mean on Friday. Oh, okay. Done here. Definitely not ours. You feel his pain. Is that the Teen Titans voice? It's the same uh, yeah, voice actors, but it's nowhere near the same voice, yeah, quote unquote. Terror Strong. He was also uh, Harley Quinn. Too bad you're not yellow enough to beat me. <laughs> when did Raven become a brony? And Teen <laughs> Titans Go. What? And that's why no one likes Teen Titans Go. I never uh, watched that. So it's not the most awful thing. It's pointless. <laughs> A lot of people were really pissed off about it for some reason. I assure you it's about the character designs. About it. Yeah. Well, well, and, and, the, and the character decay. <laughs> I love how bouncy people's bodies are in this game. You know, a fighting game like this is sort of inherently flawed with a character like Green Lantern, because his superpower is basically make anything you want with your magic glowy green ring. And when you're playing as him in a fighting game, you can't make anything you want. You can make the eight or so different things the game allows you. So if I want to make a gigantic rubber uh, uh, bound, uh, pogo stick with which I stomp on my enemy's heads, I can't do that. I have to just settle with punches and walls and things. Yeah. The Pandora weapon in Devil May Cry 4 has a similar problem. It says it has 666 different forms, but you can only use, like, seven. That's disappointing. You see, the, I, I agree that uh, the Green Lantern Ring should theoretically be the most broken weapon in this fighting game, but we're limited to Hal Jordan's imagination. Which isn't very much. <laughs> no. Hal <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> explain why we never get Kyle Rayner in these games. You know, knowing this also, state... Also, wait, no, is, is state, Hal Jordan Squidward and Kyle Rayner Spongebob then? In a sense. <laughs> the box? Knowing, knowing Hal Jordan, he'll conjure up enough willpower to make a green toolbox, and there's already a toolbox behind him. Yeah. Wait, you earned XP. This is an RPG, too? No, or? it's basically... It lets you unlock, like... Avatars for online. Now, who's this high uh, X X call it X2. Well, goal. the skins that are already included in the disc, that's not DLC. Yeah. So, but they call it XP. Now. Does it, it doesn't mean anything. Let's yeah, you know, there's, no, there's, no, there's no stat building in this game. It's just... Well, the calling it XP is just head confusing, head then, because you expect stats and levels and stuff when you get XP. <laughs> and where the fuck did you get that from? It's not green. <laughs> if it was green, I wouldn't care. <laughs> Okay, so where's Beast Boy then? He's uh, him and Starfire are like the only two Titans not in this game. <laughs> Any reason for that? No clue. They're my favorite one. This game needs to be as away from my interests as possible and as Oh, Ted's playing this game. Mm. Fuck Ted ones. Mind you, how would you really do Beast Boy in a fighting game? His power is to turn into animals. Uh, each move you get, you use, turns him into a different animal. I don't think that would, yeah, I don't think that would really mean anything in a fighting game. Uh, he might be sort of like the Pokemon trainer from Smash Brothers, but that's about all I can think of. 
Yeah, it's not a... Knowing the guys in Netherrealm, they would probably have a, each special move represented by a different animal. So. Yeah, it'd, make, it'd be easier to configure a character in this game than Beast Boy. <laughs> but I don't know who Animal Man is. I rather I know Beast Boy. He's like he's basically the same as Beast Boy. Instead of transforming into animals, he summons the power of various animals. Ah, I see. Uh, so he's well, Beast Boy, but he's easier to animate. Yeah, they'd probably yeah. pick him instead. <laughs> animal Man. <laughs> I did like those DC swords, but then. Straight. Damn, Wait, who is that guy? That's Deathstroke. Oh. Get off so why are we free? Look, I'm not with them. Because, well, they're basically just using it for information. Oh. They know you now. They catch you. You have the stones to refuse This is the, uh, parallel really dimension. Deathstroke. Deathstroke. Still evil, but slightly less evil. The lesser of two evils. <laughs> My Deathstroke's never really evil, he's just a gun for hire, so... Oh, so he's... Neutral? Chaotic he, neutral? He, he ca neutral? Chaotic, chaotic neutral. Oh, so he's... So he's oh. Deadpool without the funny. Yeah. Deadpool's... Also voiced by Nolan North. Yeah. Isn't he... It wasn't Deadpool sort of, uh... He's a parody. Deadpool Deadpool's is the par definition of chaotic neutral. Deadpool, Deadpool is a parody of Deathstroke. Oh. oh wait. Oh, this isn't a cutscene. It's a interactive, a quick time event. It's a mini game. Oh. Quickiest, tiniest, eventiest. What happens if you fail this? The battle starts and you have a little bit of damage <laughs> on you. I wish I could do that now. <laughs> Random chainsaw battle. battle. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to assume the missile exploded off screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, millions of people died. The one Earth government is similar to mine on Koragar. An alliance was logical. So for now, I tolerate... Because no one playing this game knows anything about Green Lantern, unfortunately. Has joined your side. As did all who wished to live. Hey, look, it's... Next time. <laughs> Later. <laughs> hey, look, it's that end of the screen. <laughs> My bad. What do, what, do you, what do you think, Green? Uh, end screen. You think Green Lantern's gonna win? 